going to be my detailed fall room tour just like I promised. I absolutely love fall and I love decorating my room for literally every season but especially for winter and I also really enjoy decorating for fall because those are my two favorite seasons and it's actually kind of bad and my family thinks I'm kind of crazy about decorating but I really enjoy doing it and I hope that you enjoy this detailed fall room tour. I guess let me know if you decorate for fall too and also I really really meant to have my room completely organized for this video. I meant to have everything perfect, but fact is, I'm super busy. I have a lot of schoolwork to catch up on, and I actually do have a job that I have to do one day a week to earn money, and <clears throat> I just, I'm super busy, and I haven't had a lot of time to totally reorganize everything, so um, a few things I might not show because they're probably kind of disorganized, but anyways, I still hope you enjoyed the video, and enough rambling on and let's get started with the video. So starting next to the door I have this pretty little fall arrangement. And then behind the door is my white mirror and it has this fake leaf up in the top corner and this cute little fox gel cling in the bottom corner. right shelf this is where I keep all of my pants and my sweatshirts and then moving up to the middle shelf this is where I keep all of my shirts and as you can see I have them color coordinated and it took me forever but I'm pretty proud of it because before they were just so hard to find anything and then moving up to the very top shelf this is where I keep my pajamas and swimsuit and things like that and on the left, this is where I keep dresses and shoes and clothes that I don't really want folded. And then on the top shelf, I have two storage bins. And then I keep my hamster food over here. So this blue bin, as you can see, has extra hamster treats and all my baby food and stuff like that in there. And then the pink bin just has my ice skates and I think at the bottom there's like some hats or something. Like I said, this is where I keep my hamster food, and this is also where I do my hamster photo shoots. I keep my hamster pellets in this jar, and then my seed mix in this bag, and I used to have a jar for the bag too, but my little brother broke it. It was my fault for putting it in a bad spot, but now I just keep it in a bag. And then on this side, I have some extra food bags and these two jars that are there for no reason. <laughs> And then I have this little fresh food chart that I try to follow so they get a variety of fresh food and veggies. And then I have my bed area. So this is my bed. I have this large and warm off-white comforter on it. And then at the foot of the bed is this really soft blanket that I got from Walmart with some fall leaves on it. Here is a failed attempt to make a DIY leaf pillow. It turned out looking more like a starfish than anything, but it adds a little bit of fall sparkle to my room, so I decided to keep it. Here I have stuck on some fake leaves to make it look like leaves are blowing down. If you remember my summer room tour, I usually put butterflies here. And then I have this warm white light garland that I stuck onto the wall. And then clipped onto this string of lights, I have two pictures, one of Zuzu and one of Bibbles. And I am going to be adding all my hamsters, I just haven't had the time to go and print off the pictures yet. I have my two windows. Now the curtains do not really go with the fall theme, but at least they sparkle. Above the window, I have this felt fall garland that I got at Walmart. And then on the window itself, I have some different gel clings. And then 
I have my desk area. Down here in the bottom is this triple drawer storage, and on the front I put some cute washi tape to add some color to it because it was just plain clear before. In the bottom drawer, this is where I keep a bunch of cords and phone chargers and earbuds and things like that. And then the second drawer is where I store a bunch of my photography accessories. And then finally, the top drawer is where I keep a bunch of stationary stuff like envelopes and notepads and cards and markers and things like that. And then in this little storage area, I have what I call my washi tape crate. And then I also have my Bible. In this right drawer of my desk, this is where I keep all of my photography lenses. And I also normally keep my camera in here, but I'm obviously filming with it. So yeah, usually it goes right here. But this is where I have all of my lenses. Here is this cute little plush hamster that is sitting on a hay bale with a little pumpkin in front of him. In the middle of my desk shelf, there is this plaque that says give thanks with a grateful heart. And then there's this adorable little dollar store um, scarecrow man and look at this guys, his legs dingle, they're so cute, I think he's adorable. And then in this last corner of my desk, there is this little wicket basket with some fall beads in it. And then there are these two containers that hold my pens and pencils and markers and my X-Acto knives and things like that. And then behind that is this black chalkboard and I don't have any chalk but I'm planning to write happy fall on it. It's kind of hard to see, but behind that is this lantern and this really pretty um, glass crystal gem that a friend of mine gave to me, and I think it's really special and pretty. Up here on this little shelf, I have two sparkly pumpkins and this candle that smells really, really good. And above it, I have a bunch of hanging fake red leaves. And then we have Toodle's cage, of course, and then above it are his ovos and this sparkly welcome fall sign that I got from the dollar store. So in this first right drawer, this is where I keep socks and stuff, and it's one of those super messy areas that I won't be showing in this video. But on my second drawer, this is where I keep um, some hamster stuff like uh, Toodle's and Butterball's playpen blankets and just some extra things like toothbrushes and um, combs and um, sorry q-tips and my first aid kit and everything in this pink or colorful one and then there's just like these little skinny coat things right here down here on the bottom this is where I put all of my cleaning supplies and my sand and on the left here this top drawer is pretty disorganized but I'll go ahead and show it anyway but this is just a bunch of stuff that, is, that I put in my hamster cage. I have like things like decor and um, rocks and ovo tubes. I don't even really know what to describe that, what's in here, but you guys can just go ahead and look for yourself. And then the second drawer, this is where I keep all my wrapping paper and my scrapbook paper that I use for cage themes and photo shoots. And then on this bottom drawer, this is pretty disorganized too, but this is where I keep all of my gel clings and garlands and decor like that. And then I have my favorite part of my room, my closet nook. At the bottom is Butterball's cage, and then behind there I have these really, really pretty warm white curtain lights. 
there is this paper happy fall banner that I got from Walmart and some blue lights wrapped around the rod. There is a fall leaf garland that is wrapped around one of those curtain rods, tension rods, I think that's what they're called, but they're like for curtains and you, yeah, anyways, moving on behind the fall leaf garland up on the shelf, I have a bunch of storage bins. In the dark purple one, I have a bunch of craft stuff, which is one of those disorganized things that I'm not going to show. In the second blue bin, I have some photography props. And then in the purple bin, I have more craft stuff. In the pink one, I keep my photography and video backdrops. And then lastly, in the farthest left blue one, I keep photography and video stuff that I don't use that often. for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!